In this video, we will download precipitation data from Climate Engine. This is climateengine.org. If you'd like to know more about the data sets, click here. You can read about all the data sets that are used and how to use them. We'll go to the tool to download the data. Here you can take a tour for maps, for graphs. We won't do this today, but you should try this sometime. And the first thing we'll do is go from the middle of the United States to Southeast Asia. You can zoom out with the minus. You can also use the hand to move. And if you have a mouse with a wheel, you can press control on your keyboard and scroll with the wheel. Okay. The Prevang province is here. It's the dotted white line. We can see the outline of it here. Below, we're a little close, so we'll zoom out. We're not getting a map layer. Um, we're get, making a graph. So here, the time series calculation. This is important if you have more than one data set. So if you're searching for precipitation and something else, this gives you options for how to look at both data sets. We're just searching for precipitation today. So native time series, one variable. Region, this is how to search. You can use a point to choose a city. You can also type the city's name. You can enter coordinates, maybe for a location that's not a city. And you can also find yourself on this map. If you use the drop-down menu, you can choose by point, polygon, other choices. We will use polygon. Here are instructions for how to use the polygon. Click at a corner and drag. Here's how to delete it. You could enter a name. Close this. Okay, we will choose the polygon. We'll go a little larger than the study area. Spray thing. Okay. I think this should be good. Okay. Now that we have the area selected, we want to go to our data sets. Here is climate and hydrology. Then these are all the different data sets that we saw on the first web page. So if you wanted to learn more about these, you could go back and read about them. We want to use Terra Climate Monthly. We'd like the precipitation values that it gives us. We'd like millimeters, not inches. There's only one resolution for us to choose from. This is a four kilometer data set. And the statistic we'd like over the region is the mean. For the period of record, we'd like an average for the area. Averages are done in 30 year climate intervals. So we'll enter a custom month range beginning January. 1980 and ending in December 2020. Here we will click get time series. And here's our data. We can see there is a monsoonal pattern. Rains less, rains more. There's two events. Here was a very large event. Also here, larger event. This is where we're at today. Well, December 20th, December 1st, 2020. 
We'll download this as an Excel file and put this someplace you'll find it with a name that you will remember. You can call it Preveng or whatever you like. And this is how you download precipitation data from Climate Engine.